And as I mentioned earlier, it's been over 200 days since we've gotten at least two inches of snow in the Madison area, and it's been nearly 260 days since our overnight lows have dipped into those single digits. But now that the snow is done, we're welcoming in some cold, so it may be possible as we go Monday night into Tuesday that not only the Madison area, but a lot of southern Wisconsin could dip into those single digits. Now the really last bit of the heavy snow wrapped up in the mid afternoon hours, early to mid afternoon hours, but we're still tracking maybe a few isolated flurries along an incoming cold front that's going to be bringing down that cold air. So don't be surprised if over the next maybe two ish hours we do continue to see a little bit of snow activity, but the bulk of that moisture continues to move through Michigan and begin to impact parts of the Northeast and back behind that a high pressure system is going to be moving on in and that's going to keep our skies quiet quiet as we go into tomorrow. Estimated snow depth across the area. Again, we forecast about one to three inches of snow and this dark blue kind of represents where that three inch mark begins. We also find another little isolated pocket. Uh, it's not showing up there across parts of uh, Grant County as well, but our highest total coming out of the Grant County area at 3.3 inches. So again, just a nice little blanket of snow across southern Wisconsin. We've been really missing it throughout the month of November. We're in the 20s and 30s right now, but we will continue to cool on down into those teens. Northwesterly winds and that fresh snow on the ground is going to be kind of adding that extra ump to get us to these cooler temperatures tonight. Those gusts could be gusting upwards of 25 miles per hour throughout the overnight and into your Monday as well. Future track is going to really keep us quiet throughout the day on Monday. It's just going to be breezy with a little bit more cloud cover farther north and east as we kick off your next work week. Maybe a stray flurry, but I think a lot of that moisture will be well off to our east. So I think we'll just see the cloud cover, but not the snow. Those winds finally do die down as we head Monday night into Tuesday, but then they turn out of the south as we go into Tuesday. So that means that we're going to start to warm on up as we go into the second half of next week. So again, for, for, for full transparency, here was our latest forecast going into this round of snow, and this is the uh, kind of snow reports from not only the National Weather Service, but from viewers like you sending that in and reporting it to the National Weather Service. And again, these darker blues in parts of Grant County and outside of Green Bay, uh, ranging anywhere from about 3.3 to 3.5 inches of snow, but you can see a lot of Wisconsin got that inch mark, and then we find those pockets of about two inches or more across parts of southern Wisconsin, including really in the middle of Dane County. So I would say we were pretty accurate. So uh, just going to relish in that for a little bit because forecasting snow is very tricky and I'm not going to go into it. I don't have the time, but it is always also nerve wracking to really forecast that first big snow of the season. Now I mentioned at the top of uh, the forecast here that it's been almost 260 days since we've gotten into those single digits. This is air temperature. This is not wind chill value as we're waking up Tuesday morning. So again, this is going to be our best chance to uh, really slip into those single digits over the next seven days. And as I mentioned, also winds are going to be breezy on Monday. But the good news is, as I just said, Monday night is going to be our coolest over the next seven. From there, we warm on up not only for overnight lows, but our daytime highs as well. Breezy to start off next week. We dry out Wednesday, maybe some morning fog due to those southerly winds. Could see some actual rain showers, though, as we look to end November on Thursday. That turns over to a rain snow mix as we go Friday, Saturday into Sunday. It kind of looks like long range models want to bring in a low pressure system, keeping it just at the perfect place where it could teeter to more snow. Ooh. So we will have to see. But now for the Madison area, we are at 2.5 oh, inches okay. of snow. So Gone now we're only bit. we're only below by uh, a half an inch. So okay. we'll see if we can do it. Probably not, but at least we're not really. My fingers are always crossed. Time for the fourth least snowiest. At least we finally got some. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Blaze. Well, Pablo Iglesias has you covered now on 